guys real quick. Okay. Use this bone on your guy to pull in and tight. Okay, everything's tight. When you're being, when I'm being offensive towards Ray and any grappling, I want to be as close to him as possible. Okay? His job is to create space to be defensive. Okay? I want to stay close the whole time. If I'm like this, I can't be strong. If I'm here, I want to be close. Okay? When you're offensive, you're as tight and as close as possible. When you're being defensive, you're trying to get out of anything, you're trying to create space away from your opponent so he's less effective. All right, so grip. Use this grip here and in. Pull, okay? A lot of times when I get on his ribs, you can break someone's ribs pretty easy here. You're here, pull in and in, okay? Pull that in tight. Okay, so let's work on the hand grip, guys. Uh, I see a lot of you guys grabbing around the side. <laughs> Tight. Tight. If it's here, yeah. see there's there's too much space. Space here. The whole thing is is to keep everything as tight as possible. See with my hips underneath him the whole time. So my hips are in. If he's down, he's down here. I keep my hips the same when I come down. So I can come here and stay strong. I'm not going to be able to pick him up not here. This is what I did. So just try to keep your hips underneath him. Just like you're going to pick up something else. Move on to the takedown. All right, we're just going to do, uh, before we do a little bit of groundwork, we're just going to work on a single leg in the transition. Oh, there's quite a few different ways I want you guys to work on to get to the actual single leg. So we're here, like we've been working, same thing. It'll work, we're here, down, and shoot in for this leg. Okay, when I shoot in, my head's going to be on the outside. I don't want to keep it there, okay? As soon as possible, I want to lift and change to the inside, okay? Now see, I have his leg tight, and I'm gripping tight here, okay? Now, what I want to do is, is I want to pull. See, he's on balance now, okay? What I want to do is I want to pull this leg forward, and now immediately, shoot forward, all right? So same thing, we're working from here. Drop, single leg. Turn, pull, shoot, okay? So preferably, when you shoot, you should might as well start working out and doing it right. When I shoot, I don't want to fall, like Ray's got a really good guard. I don't want to fall right here, right into his guard. I just did that work to get him on the ground. I want to be on the side. To me, I would be smiling. Okay? So he's happy, okay? I'm gonna go here, here. Immediately oh. to the side, all right? Immediately over, okay? So work on that, I'll help you guys out. And in MMA guys too, right? This is kind of what I was trying to tell Bernard too. You can still get the points for the takedown without necessarily having to engage on the ground. Right? Watch out when he gets it, when he, when he, when he gets <coughs> on me. He can still take me down and stay here. You know, and that's a good idea for a lot of people. When, if you're, the round's pretty even and there's like 45 seconds left, you get a take down and you're probably winning the round. Even if you don't engage them. So think about that part of it too. Alright, and to get to that single leg, to do that, lots of different ways. So we can just start here. If I just come down, pick up that leg. Okay, we're here. I push, shoot. 
Okay? Just get that single leg, pull it back, and then shoot from there, trail work to the side. On the offside again? I don't want my head here. You see, he can cross face me, he can guillotine me. So, a lot of times when I get that single leg, my head's going to be good. I immediately get it on the inside. I go, see, I try to block this, so it makes a turn. I'm here, pull, and you're right here, try to pull it out. So, when I'm here, my that leg's up, I'm still strong. When it's here, then I'm weak going that way. Alright, everyone practice it. Kicks to the face, the chin. So, I'm going to do, I want to walk in here. See, I have this knee in, and I, I'm away here, okay? I want to get close. What I'm going to do is with these legs, these push. what I'm going to do is, you see, is I slide this to the side and I come with the wide hook. Not proper technique for right hand. Right hand should be like this. But for this, because he's going to move his head one way or another. I don't want to just try and punch straight, okay? This one, I'm here, I'm in. I'm going to throw my hips to the side and then swing wide, okay? If I hit him, it doesn't matter if I hit him with my fist. I can hit him with my forearm, with the, with the whatever part of the arm, with here, with here. Okay, so I'm here, this side, working, boom, to the side. And you can use this to pass, too. I'm here, boom, and coming to the side, all right? Same thing, I'm here, I'm here, I'm working, boom, to the side, okay? So, work with each other. Make sure, watch this chin, he tries to kick, boom, come down, okay? Oh, this also so works good, too, sometimes, hey. So, first one, I'm here. And I take off, I put to the ground. I lift up, pass, down. So I can punch here, or stuff here. I can't, sometimes I'll bait, I'll lift that leg out, I can sit on that leg. Same thing here, right over here, I can pass from here, usually easy. So when I've got this arm, you can't just grab my ankles and work. I can work here, and pass and stand back up. All right? In this position, so I want to go here. So I want to sprawl down. Now what I'm going to do is, is, is I'm here. Now I have, see my hands both here. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to kind of rock him this way, and then I'm going to roll and shoot my head underneath him. Okay. So I'm here. I'm going to shoot at the same time. I'm going to roll. So I go here, and when I roll over, I go into here. Okay. So I've got him in a half and I pull this in, okay? Now he's stuck here. Now I can keep pulling his head and his arm and this arm at the same time, okay? <laughs> so you, he's either stuck here, and you can even, you can bring this here, and he's caught, and he's done, okay? Or you can even submit him here by neck crank or shoulder lock, okay? So same thing, he shoots. So he's here, down, don't knee, now over, in here, and you just pull, and push, pull, pull, push here, okay? So, and if you can, you can take that arm and trap your foot in it, and it's not going anywhere. He's stuck, you can punch from there, elbow from there, finish him. Can you show us one more time? All right, one more. So I'm here, go down. So, see, I go here, both underneath. So I'll Watch out, please. So I search, I roll, and now I'm here, now I switch my hips, come up underneath. Now see this is here, and now I pull, carry it if I can, I can step this here, and it's caught, okay? So now I can pull here, and I can punch from here, okay? It's fairly quick and pretty fast. Usually it's hard to get wrestlers in it, but jujitsu guys, they're a little bit more comfortable going their back, they're not gonna bridge over. So, or if you're a good wrestler too, you have good hips, you just wanna get that momentum, when you go, you want to go as fast as you can because you don't want to get stuck. I don't want to get stuck here, okay? I want to make sure that I turn my hips all the way over and go, all right?